Recently, China's top epidemiologist Zhong Nanshan mentioned a new pattern of COVID-19 transmission in China, which is from environment to human. What is environment to human transmission? Is it a new COVID-19 transmission route? How do you prevent it? Let's find out in this episode of Answer Bank. Environment to human transmission is usually referred to as infections caused by people coming into contact with contaminated objects. In general, viruses can survive longer on the surface of objects because they have a lower temperature than the human body. Currently, most of the environment to human transmissions in China have been caused by imported products, such as frozen foods. Studies suggest that the normal coronavirus has a lifespan of about three hours on paper and tissue paper, two days on wood, four days on glass and banknotes, and seven days on the surface of a surgical mask. However, the threshold for virus concentration before infection still remains unclear. Although it may sound risky, environment to human transmissions can only happen under these three conditions. First, the object should be seriously contaminated by the virus. Second, the object's surface can keep the virus alive for a fairly long time. And third, the person in contact with contaminated objects do not take adequate protective measures. If you come into contact with contaminated objects but had a mask on and wash your hands after, the transmission can be avoided. What we need to be clear is that environment to human transmission is not a new route of transmission. The main transmission route of COVID-19 is still human to human. According to China CDC's chief epidemiologist Wu Zunyou, the transmission from objects to human often occurs in the early stage of a pandemic. While it may be a trigger, its role in the spread of epidemic is very limited. As long as we keep taking protective measures, including wearing masks, washing hands, and keeping social distance, environment-to-human transmission can be avoided.